Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Android on your Kindle Fire first generation. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the about section of my video. I have two links. We're going to have to um, disable driver signature reinforcement on your computer. So in the about section of my video I have two links teaching you how to disable driver signature reinforcement. So click on the appropriate link. Uh, one link is for Windows 7 and the other link is window Windows 8. So click on the appropriate link so that you can disable driver signature reinforcement. You have to have you have to do that for this tutorial to work. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the about section of my video again and I have three download links. They're called Kindle Fire Utility, CM 10.1.3, and GAPS. So download those three, uh, click on those three download links and download the files. And so you'll have three files downloaded, Kindle Fire Utility, CM 10.1.3, and GAPS. So once you have th the three d files downloaded, uh, we're gonna open up Kindle Fire Utility. Now, to or in order to open up zip files, you're going to have to have a program called WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR installed, in the About section of my video, I have a download link for WinRAR. So just click on that to download and install it. So once you have WinRAR installed, uh, we're going to click on Extract 2 right here. So, and we're just going to click on OK. And it will so it will extract the files to wherever you had your zip file located uh, my kindle fire utility zip file was located on the desktop so it will automatically extract it to the desktop so open up the extracted folder kindle fire utility and you see you should see all these folders and files here drivers dual boot files tools install drivers readme and run so go ahead and plug in your kindle fire using a usb Just turn it on and unlock it, and it should automatically go into USB mode. So once you connect your Kindle Fire to your computer, we're going to click on Install Drivers. Click Finish. Okay, so once you've uh, installed the drivers, uh, go to uh, your Control Panel and go to hardware and sound, go to device and printers and go to your, you should see your comp Kindle under devices uh, right click on it and click on properties click on hardware and then click on properties again and click on change settings and you're going to go to driver and then you're going to go to update driver and then you're going to go click on browse my computer for driver and you're going to click on browse so go to wherever you extracted kindle fire utility i extracted it to my desktop so it's under my desktop and so go to kindle fire utility or wherever you extracted it to and then go to drivers and then go to kindle and then once you get to kindle click on ok and then click next and then it should say it's already updated or it's successfully updated so click close click close again close this window close this window alright and so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to click on run and so your ABD status should be online now if it's offline, go to the about section of my video. I have a troubleshooting link and and uh, click on that. Click on the troubleshooting link for ABD s ADB status offline and it will tell you uh, to take which steps in order to get your device online. But uh, right now my device is online so it's good. So and make sure your Kindle is still plugged in and we're going to click on 2 because we want to install the permanent boot with super uh, super users permanent root so we're going to click on 2 and press enter the 
this may take a while, so let's just keep going. So by now you just see a completely different screen on your Kindle and it's still going and you just see your Kindle are showing up uh, different screens flashing booting on it's all normal just keep on waiting All right, so once uh, your Kindle has a completed, um, you should see your Kindle uh, boot up to the lock screen. So once it boots up to the lock screen, you can go ahead and unlock it. And just, and it'll go into USB mode again and just keep on waiting. And keep on waiting and it should say permanent root has been installed and uh, it says uh, press any key to continue so go ahead and so once that's finished um, we're going to install the latest TWRP uh, recovery so click 3 and click enter so make sure your Kindle is still connected and in USB mode So this will take a while again. Just be patient. Uh, don't be scared if it if it looks like it's stuck or anything. Just keep on. Waiting. And so it says all done. So that's great. So it says press any key to continue. And so let's just press any key, and it should go back. And your Kindle shelf should be rebooting again. So just wait for it to reboot. So I'm just waiting for my Kindle to reboot right now. I'm waiting if I'm waiting for my Kindle to reboot into the lock screen. So once it reboots into the lock screen you know that you successfully rooted your Kindle and you s installed the TWRP recovery. So we can close this window. So your Kindle should be at its lock screen right now. Just unlock it and make sure it's reconnected to your computer. So I just unlocked my Kindle and here it is right here it opened up. So we're going to get these two files right here, uh, CM 10.1.3 and GAPS. We're just going to copy these two files. And we're just going to go back to your Kindle. And we're just going to copy and paste it onto into your Kindle. And it should be called a removable disk, but it's your Kindle, so just paste it in. So right now I just finished copying the two files to my Kindle. So once you finish copying the files over you can disconnect your Kindle and unplug the USB cord. Now we're going to turn off the Kindle. Once the Kindle gets shut down, uh, boot it up again. 
once you see the boot screen press the power button again and then you'll see these three um, these three things appear press the power button so that you can select recovery so I'm pressing the power button until I highlight recovery so once I have recovery highlighted I'm gonna just let go and wait and it should be booting up into recovery now so now you should see this logo appear and so now we're gonna just go into backup and so we're gonna basically uh, back up your uh, original uh, Kindle uh, so we're gonna back up your Kindle right now now what I recommend you doing before you back up is go to your Kindle and uninstall all of the unnecessary apps you have and delete any unnecessary files you have to just save room so after you do that you can come back here and back up so we're gonna back up right now so it's gonna start backing up the reason why we're backing up your Kindle is so that if you ever get sick of Android and you want to go back to your Kindle Fire uh, you can go back and actually uh, restore your backup and I'll show you where to do that in a sec but right now it's getting backed up it may take a while so as of now the backup has uh, hung up it says updating partition de details uh, so like you can scroll down and see the status of your backup so scroll all the way down and if you see updating uh, partition details and you see that this bar has fully completed has filled up then you know that your backup has been finished successfully it's just that um, uh, there was an error in producing the done message but right now as of right now we know that the backup has finished because it says 473 megabytes total backed up and the status bar has been fully loaded and after waiting like five minutes uh, after seeing updating partition details show up we can safely assume that the backup has finished so I'm just gonna power down the device because it's stuck so I'm gonna go down to the power button and hold down on the power button so that you can force shut it down so your device is now turned off we're going to turn it back on and do the same exact thing to get back to recovery so press on the power button once it gets to the boot screen press on it again and press and hold on it until you see these three things appear so we're going to highlight recovery so once you have hi a recovery highlighted by pressing down on the power button to select which one you want and highlight recovery you're just going to let go and wait for it to boot back to recovery and we're going to go and check to see if our backup is okay so we're going to go to restore and as you see we can see that our back backup is actually there and fine so basically once it says uh, updating partition details uh, just wait five to ten minutes and then you can just force shut force shut down the device because uh, there's an error in in that it does not tell you that it's actually completely completed so that you you'll have to force shut down your device so uh, we can safely now see that uh, the backup did complete so let's go back so now we're gonna go and wipe and we're going to do a factory reset so just swipe and so it's finished so go back and go back again so you go back to this home page and we're going to actually install now so click on install and as you see here the two files we 
copied over CM 10.1.3 and gaps are both here so we're going to click on CM 10.1.3 first and we're going to swipe the confirm flash so it's going to flash it Once it's finished flashing, you should see this. So we're just going to go back home. And we're going to go back to wipe. And we're going to go to advanced wipe. We're going to check this box, uh, Davlik cache. So check this box. And check cache as well. So check these two boxes, Davlik cache and cache, and swipe to wipe. And after that's done, we're going to go back and go home and go back to this screen and now we're just going to go back to install again and we're going to select gaps so select gaps and swipe to confirm flash so now we're going to flash gaps once this is done uh, just wait a sec So once this is done, uh, you should see this screen again. And basically we finished installing Android. So we're going to just simply reboot the system. And now the system is rebooting. And you should see the cyanogen, cyanogen mod uh, logo appear. And I'm just going to skip ahead in the video until it gets to the screen. So I waited for like 10 minutes and it finally booted up to the screen. And we can just click continue from here. And we can just... Um, and it's asking you to make a sign engine mod account so just create one or you can just skip skip it so I'm just gonna skip it and it says do you have a Google account and um, I'm gonna click no for now just to sh uh, show you what it looks like I'm gonna say not now but you can set it up all you want and I'm gonna say uh, yes click next here uh, click next again click finish and there you have it you have Android on your um, Kindle Fire first generation so everything looks pretty good um, let's go into apps here and we have the Play Store and everything so everything looks good everything looks right so yeah that's how you install Android on your Kindle Fire first generation and if you have any issues at all, uh, please comment. And the reason why we're using Cyanogen Mod is because it's the best ROM. It's the best custom ROM, I think, out there for Android. So yeah, enjoy.